Um, welcome to another episode of X Y 101. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. And today you're with Calvin in Calvin's Corner. And today, it's Calvin's Corner. Calvin. What corner? Right there. Calvin's Corner. Where the hook is at? <laughs> Where the hoes at? Huh? Nah. That's how ghetto uh, save money. <laughs> save money on intro. Every- Save money on the intro. <laughs> but today we're going to talk about internet addiction. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to get right into it as always. So the first question is, how often does being online interfere with your responsibilities? Look, my responsibilities involve the internet, so never. I hey, know. Hey, I sort hey. of- you're, you're actually speaking to a podcast. We uh, have to uh, be hey, 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 in the internet. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm just reading fucking questions that don't make sense. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they make sense. Just but, I mean, like, yeah, just not to like, us. I mean, no, I have never decided to watch porn when I could be having sex. No, I have never decided to watch porn when I had to go to work. Mm. No, actually, you know what? I probably watch porn at work. At work. But <laughs> I got to the job, and they don't know what I did during my back. Did you, I there, say we go. there we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, did you masturbate. That's the most important question in that situation. Where? But you just like like did you jack off at work after watching the porn? Or did you go in the bathroom and jack off, or you know, did you even jack off? Period. There was coming places at the job. <laughs> just don't put the blue light on. Exactly. <laughs> I won't say where. I won't say when. I'm not even going to tell you if it was mine. I'm just going to let you know no. that it's coming places at the job. <laughs> mm. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. I'm going to go to... <laughs> I ask you shit. <laughs> I ask you shit. Um, damn, I, I, this is a stupid question, too. How often have you chosen to stay online rather than go out with friends or family? Shit. <laughs> Irony being to talk to friends that I'm that I'm talking with online. Like I just I don't want to see y'all because I'm enjoying Mike. my conversation with them. <laughs> yes, so I, I will choose my friends online sometimes rather than my friends in person. What about you? I'm pretty much the same. Like if it ain't my circle, mm-hmm. then I won't go outside. And what 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 for? Um, has your work suffered because of the time you spend online? Again. If suffer if we're we not do. online. I, I know. Like, <laughs> if we're not constantly I mean, online and being nosy. If you're nosy. talking about our other jobs, like, no. In fact, I think that's probably what keeps me up while I'm at my job waiting for shit to happen is just literally being online. Being online. Like, you know, I'll be playing my game or I'll talk with my friends. Oh, whatever yeah. the case may be, right, instead of just falling asleep waiting for shit to actually happen. I mean, the nature of my industry, we're not supposed to be on our phones. But by God, if we weren't, we'd be asleep, which is even worse sin. So, mm-hmm. you know, pick, and, pick your poison. But I'd rather get in trouble for being on my phone mm-hmm. than losing my job entirely for being asleep. Or well, that one moment when somebody really needed you, but you were knocked out. You know? Word, exactly. Mm-hmm. Do you check your email or messages before starting a task? Mm, depends my- on the task. Since the, we, the task is the email poverty. I mean, it, like yeah. I said, it depends on the task because yeah. what we do involves the internet and involves media. Yeah. Sometimes what we have to do is answer emails, coordinating events. and. I think people. that's the first thing I do is check my emails. I check all the emails from the, all the sites, make sure, blah, blah, blah. Check the uh, orders and see if there's any orders in. Mm-hmm. And then I go do the regular task. You have know? you ever submit work or school late because of the internet? It's probably the internet where I was able to even get the task done. Mm. Fuck libraries. Except for when I need mm. a book. Or unless we're fucking in the library. So fuck libraries then, because I mean, pretty much you can get any book. Well, here's the thing. Well, there, no, pretty much. The, I mean, certain, I don't mean like literally. Yeah. No, no, but it's still a good feel of a book. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, there are certain scholastic materials that cannot be found outside of a library. So depending on the, spe- the, the specific book I need, I can't get it online. Mm-hmm. That is their purpose for the stuff that I can't find online. Unfortunately for them, I can find most things online. Oh, yeah. so, that's on them. Hoo-hoo. Do you think life would be serious without the Internet? No. 
people have always found a way to make asses of themselves. <laughs> yes. It's just easier for everyone to see now. You're not just the hometown idiot. You're yeah. I'm idiot the hometown the idiot with a million views. Right? It's like it's <laughs> like Florida was always Florida, but now it's Florida. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> everybody mm-hmm. can see it. Right about that. Um, if you're from Florida and you're offended, y'all have the weirdest news. Yeah, mm-hmm. and y'all fuck alligators. I mean, so the crocodile in Dundee, but you know that's a whole other story. Yeah, I mean, I never seen. It's a South Park. Joke. It. Mm. Have you ever been agitated, like when you're like offline, like and then like, like when withdrawal? You get, yeah, and like but but when you get back online, you cool. I mean, it's I could, I could say yes because people annoy me, but the mm-hmm. internet makes me happy because I can choose what I'm bothering myself with on the internet, where people just bother me with bullshit that shouldn't even be my problem. Right. But it has less to deal about the internet and more to deal about the assholes bothering me. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know what? I got off the internet to deal with something, and it was a bunch of people doing some dumb shit. And I'd be like, you took me off of playing my game for this shit? So I'm like, fuck y'all. I'm going back to my game. Have a whole bag of dicks. Right. Yeah. I don't even think they deserve the dicks. Dicks can bring <laughs> pleasure. They he, sticks. He said it, not Spiky, me. Spiky, dirty sticks so. right out of Central Park's up their ass. Hopefully there's a ladybug, so something's flying around in there make you feel good. Damn. Assholes. Mm. You went dark right there. Yeah, hey, man, like. <laughs> That's what I do. And I catch one of those viruses that we don't know about. I mean, like deep you down. don't know about it. I, yeah. They do. <laughs> A- anyway, um, how often do you make new friends? Through the web? Mm-hmm. Mm, probably daily. And you know what? Fuck that, like, meaning friends. Because they're, like, so meaningful Friends. I, I make acquaintances every day. Like, yeah, acquaintances is one not thing. Friend friends. Or I guess I should say, like, how how often have you met people online, right? That were you know someone you met online that ended up becoming cool. And this is outside of this list. Like y'all become. Oh, cool. I was gonna say because Will. Like, like, like y'all have, <laughs> yeah, you have like an ongoing relationship with this person, whether online or, or, or just in general. Like you met him online, you in person with him, y'all cool. Um, I think we have a couple. Nah, really? I say it happens probably once or twice a month. Yeah. To be honest, we're like you know, it's not that we hang out all the time, cool, but like we definitely cool. We chop it up frequently. Yeah, mm. you know, that sort of a thing. Uh, in some cases, it leads to like it being just an online friendship. In some cases, it means you know we start hanging out. You know, it, it all depends on where the person is from, if they're visiting, whatnot. Like I meet a lot of people who are like I'm in New- I'm in New York for a couple of days, right? So then we we you know we, we hang out while they're here, and then they go back to where the fuck they're from, and then we still chop it up every now and again. Um, But, like, I'm weird when it comes to friendships because, like, my best friend is somebody who we see each other maybe once a year, maybe once every other year type shit. Yeah. And, I mean, when we get when we link up, it's we we don't miss a beat or anything like that. Um, There are times where, like, even, like, one of the the times right now, we don't even have each other's phone numbers. We're just going to bump into each other type shit. Yeah. It'd be like that. And there's no, like, it's never been, like, oh, why haven't I heard from this nigga or anything like that. It's just kind of like when we see each other, we see each other. And this is mm-hmm. someone, like, literally, like, if I wanted to reach out to him, like, I can hit up his cousin and be like, yo, where's David at? Like, you know? And in an instant, he'll come. And vice versa. Like, if he needed me, he'll hit me up. You know, my, my shit never changes. So hit me up and be like, yo, well, I need, I'll need i be there in a second. Like, that sort of shit. And I've known this guy since I was five years old. Oh, okay. You know, so that's the homie homie. Charles? Yeah, I'm pretty much the same thing. Oh. But I keep to myself, uh, you know, <coughs> like I said, my circle, like, I, I guess it comes from when I was uh, young, because even when I was young, we only had like five or six guys that always hanged out mm-hmm. until now there's only two of us left, you know? So it's basically, it just continues going. Have you ever, like, <clears throat> have you ever been irritable about the time, or about somebody telling you you spend too much time online? Nah. No I one. was in high school, because my parents were like, you don't sleep enough. I'm like, well, fuck it. <laughs> like, if I ain't complaining about being tired, you shouldn't be worrying. All right? I still get up, still go to school. Don't worry about it. Right. I go to school. I, you know, I used to spend Friday, like, Friday morning at 6 a.m. and wouldn't go to sleep, you know, for the most part until, 
you know, 11 p.m., 11.30 p.m. on Sunday night, right? Mm -hmm. I, would, I would do that. Meanwhile, that entire weekend, I could have baseball games, basketball games, uh, you know, a martial arts tournament, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. you know, growing up. And, yeah, everything got done. I performed well. It wasn't like I was, like, you know, lazily playing or anything. I'm still one of the top players on any team that I was ever on. Right. So what the, what the hell's the issue? I like when I get home, I like being online, um, especially since we didn't have cable, but we did have dial-up. So, yeah. you know, I wasn't the type to be streaming shit. I was able to, you know, play certain games. I was able to talk to certain people, you know, and I didn't feel like I was trapped at home. I felt like I was at home and could still be a part of the world, you know, like kind of the purpose of what the Internet was supposed to be, right? Yeah, that's a good, well, that was a good thing. What it was intended to be, yeah, you right. <laughs> what it was intended to be. What it's become is what the fuck it's become. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Fucking, has someone close to you, like, told you, like, oh, you, you've been online too much and you got mad? I mean, like I said, not since I was a teenager. Right. But, and? And see, like, yeah, this ain't fair because it's, well, when we get to the end of this. Well, no, because you, know, you, you, you know what it is? Is that grown-ass people come out their face a lot. That That's a fair question to ask. It's just that you already know I'm the type of motherfucker to be like, your point? <laughs> like, oh, you have an opinion? I didn't give a fuck about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, God, this is crazy here. Have you ever lied about how much time you spend online? No. No need to. <laughs> I'd be telling people, like, yo, the moment I get home, I got, like, four screens on. Yeah, it is. Well, but the same thing is that when I'm in person with people, I'm not normally on my, my like, like, let's say I'm going on a date. Right. I'm not on my phone. Yeah, there's certain times. You know what I'm saying? Not. Like, if we, if we outside of the live event, like, part of why I like having no internet when I'm outside, like, doing something is that I can really experience it, right? There's no, there's no draw. There's no whatever. There's no, like, somebody always hitting you up. Because when I'm online, I'm a, I, you know, like I said, I, I, I've had this organization, like geek organization I've been with since I was a kid. I got, you know, people from work. I got the people, my foreign friends and this one and the third. I'm always getting messages, whether it be on Instagram and Facebook or this. That is, it's nice to be able to just shut everyone else up. Mm -hmm. Because I told you, I don't like notifications. So, like, instantly when I get a message, I'm like, nah, let me answer that real quick. I'll drive you fucking nuts. Right, it's like in, in my head, like an OCD comes. Oh, I was like, you know, you, one time you mentioned OCD. Yeah, like OCD if, if it's like a, that, it's that kind of impulse, which is like, there's something red on my phone. I don't need something red on my phone. So, yeah, <laughs> I just let them shits rock a lot of times until I get to them. But that's how. But it's so much easier for me when, like, you know, ignorance is bliss. So, like, I of course I know there's someone messaging me, but without knowing for a fact or like hearing the ding or anything like that, like, it doesn't bother me. I just I save them on my phone. That way, like, I'll go back, like, the ones that mean it, that, that I give a fuck about, I'll go back and, like, check them. Like, days later sometimes, right, right until I get, till I catch up. So I'll leave the notifications on my fucking phone. It's like, oh, like, like different, like, stacks of them all up and down my phone until I go through every one. So kind of like that, but I don't really give a fuck or give that much of a fuck about the notifications. So, Yeah. Um, I think we can all relate here. But have you ever used the internet to avoid thoughts about problems or issues in your life? Pretty much, I guess. Yeah, especially when we're uh, watching uh, porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I, in, in, all, in all honesty, I mostly go online kind of just to um, communicate with others mm -hmm. more so than even the, the actual like game aspect of the game or whatever like I go online and talk to people like people that I can't just talk to when I'm home right. um, so I, I mean in that regards I guess it's an escape sometimes it's really fun to like, learn more about other places from people in those places um, and other times like you know like I said before music is my escape so let's say there's a certain song, like there's a song I'm thinking of and I notice it's not on my iPod. Like, yeah, I'm going to hop on YouTube and, and, you know, play the song there. Like, I'm going to hear the song I want to hear. I can't say that, like, I run to the internet because the real world is so harsh and I need an escape. That's right. not what it is. It's just more so like, yeah, the shit that I'm, you know, 
if, <laughs> hey, I want the specific liquor because I want to drink this shit when motherfuckers piss me off. Well, yes, I'm going to the internet to get that liquor because <laughs> who knows if I can find that shit at the liquor store, you know? Limited selection in the hood. I was so gonna if say, you want something fruity, it ain't going to always be there. <laughs> Niggas like, I got whiskey, bourbon, and you're lucky if I got vodka because vodka has too many goddamn flavors. <laughs> I was going to say, like, using the internet for escape, from your life problems, like the the internet is the wrong place to go, because a lot of the times the shit that it you're starts, stressing about starts it, problems. It's, it's, it's on the internet, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but that depends on what you're doing on it. Like people blame the internet for their troubles when it's really them, right? Unless you know what, I'm gonna give all credit to those who got caught up on Facebook, because Facebook keeps doing that people you may know shit. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to know this motherfucker if we have no mutual friends, right? So, like, all of last month, every day I'm on Facebook, used to pop up a whole bunch of these bad bitches. No mutual friends. Like, you know, I, I have one dude where, like, he knows a lot of hot Spanish women in, in Florida. Yeah. Right? So when they were popping up, it would say one mutual friend. I knew who it was going to be. And, yeah, like, yeah, oh, damn, she is hot. But, I, you know. You also know she's in Florida. Ain't, ain't shit can possibly go left. But when it's like people you may know, there's no mutual friend there in the town nearby. And Facebook's just like, you might know this person. Well, I do. I mean, I'm going to just, why don't I? Hey, you know, Facebook said we might know each other. How about we know each other? You know Ralph? You know this? You know I know you start naming people. You know, like, and, and, and hopefully, you know, you get the conversation out of them. And now it leads out, you know, that next Saturday night, you in their bedroom and your wife catches you and you're like, Oops, well, you know, Mark Zuckerberg said I might know a motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, it started some shit. Say we had a re- <laughs> like, they said we had a rekindle. You know? <laughs> yeah. It was Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where. Blame, Mark Zuckerberg. Right, right. Hey, Mark, where are you? You developed a program that just couldn't keep my dick in my pants. So mm-hmm. stop showing me these bad bitches in accessible distances. <laughs> Say, you might know this person that Why lives next door. Why titties on the phone? Well, uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Add it to my wife, like, because you really can't control what people post online. You really can't. Especially on IG, which is where I'm at. So, this goes back to oh, the OnlyFans girls I mentioned earlier. Um, it's a lot of them that are, that are, like, on my page. Yeah. Right? That I'm, like, legitimately that are, friends that are, like, with. Not, not like, before OnlyFans. Right? Yeah, before that. And it's not like, like, that, like I'm, yeah, like, these legitimately friends, friends with. Me. No, not, no, not like, before OnlyFans. Right? Yeah, before that. I correspond with them. Like, like, right. Yeah, these legitimately right? Friends <laughs> and um, they they put see, stuff see, on you there. See, you see that professional term right there? Correspond. Yeah, right? we, we, we we converse. We have conversations. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's never on some like like yeah. I want to I want to eat your ass or nothing like that's like hey what's up or they're like, like yeah or they'll like, like some of my content or something like that. So so they they know it's it's harmless. But what they put up like yo, you got the titties. I, I can't say. Like, don't show that because my wife might see. I had to, like, literally tell her, like, baby, look, listen. I can't control no, what you can't. put on. I, I can't. Like, I I can't, like, I, I can only, like, restrict myself from the feed or something like that. Or, or make it to where you can't see a lot right. of the. That, that's as, that's as much as I could do. Man. So your wife is hyper-intelligent but can't figure out the Instagram algorithm? Oh, yeah. The thing about it was. Like, she how just, you know her? She um, seen says it. I might know. <laughs> she seen it and like hop on oh, what? She didn't hop on like what the fuck? She just like like why are these naked bitches on the phone? Hey, and I'm like what, I, what happened was no I'm just, I'm like I'm like baby I can't I can't control what's posted on here like I I, I can't I'm like the only thing I could do is you know try to reduce like, what I can't see even do. from them. I mean I don't know why you would not. The only thing I'm gonna try to reduce is the uh, the size of it. You know, I'm gonna bring it down so you won't look word, at it. Maybe you don't look my <laughs> no, because the, the thing about it was I, I did that too, and it was still popping up. <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck it!" Like you, you know, like it's gonna so, pop up, baby. You know, I have like no ill intent, but like every you now and then, no it's just titties, man. No, it's not my fault. Again, who owns Instagram now? Man. Mark Zuckerberg. Yep. I can't control if that. If you have a problem with the content on my phone, blame Mark Zuckerberg, all right? I'm telling you exactly where to go because it <laughs> won't be my face. <laughs> exactly. Mark, Tell him why he... Motherfucking Zuckerberg. Yep. Ask him why he keep putting titties in my face. It's his fault. Exactly. 
And he ain't even got no titties to put in my face. So this shit is just unfair. (laughs) After going offline, do you ever find yourself thinking about the next time you're going to be online? Yes. Because of this game. The game, yeah, he's always on it. Either that or or business, so it doesn't matter. You, You know what it is? Is that this particular game, um... It's not just me playing it. It's like again, like what draws me into most things on the web is when it's multiple people, right? Um, including my porn. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, no, it's that there are so many people that are on this game that like in the last um, few months, you know, we've gotten closer. We've um, you know we're a team, and I've taken up on the role of leadership. So it's not just my gameplay for me. It's that I'm responsible for all 40, 50, so, you know, depending on our team size at various points in time. But, like, I've become a, a responsible for them and making sure that they can play the game with no issues because I'm the one that's bartering with other teams, you know, when there's uh, any animosity. Um, my job is to make sure that my team is good so they can enjoy their gameplay. And then we do our events together and we bond and we chat. But, like... I end up in the role of protector. So when I go to sleep, it's like, holy shit, I hope nobody fucks shit up for everyone else, right? Because, like, I don't want to be asleep. Then somebody yeah. comes to start burning everybody, and I'm like, what the fuck happened while I was asleep in my bubble? Like, you know? So um, that's part of it. So I'll go to sleep, and I'll be like, you know, oh, hopefully yeah. nobody fucks it up. Because, like, especially if I go to sleep and I see a certain player is online, and I know they're, like, someone who's hyper-aggressive and just wants to attack shit or whatever, I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, Here we go. Can I even go to sleep now? <laughs> this motherfucker. Right. Because, you know, it'll be some dumb shit, right? Where, like, them and somebody else are going for the same place at the same time to, like, gather wood. Yeah. And sometimes the game will glitch where it doesn't tell you someone's approaching when you're both selecting to go. So then next thing you know, you're sending troops, and then uh, the, the screen turns red like somebody's attacking you. And he's like, oh, I was going for the fucking wood, and somebody was about to attack me, so I saw he was weaker than me, and I wanted to burn him. I said, but did you look at the rest of his team? They can burn me, and I'm supposed to save you. What the fuck are you doing? So, Doodoo head. Yeah. I've been in those situations tons of times. So, so yeah. this goes right into, have you ever been able, uh, uh, have you ever been uh, able to drag yourself from being online, promising yourself just another five minutes? I mean, everybody's done that with anything yeah. they enjoy, right? Like, you be in some pussy, like, oh, come Yeah, just on. another five. Like, I know I got to get to work, but I'm going to take another five minutes. Another five, you know? another five. Or you be eating, like, you, you be eating and you're like, I know I'm full, but I want to just taste that last piece of pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, as long, everybody wants a little bit more. It becomes a matter when that little bit becomes another large chunk. Like, when you're mm. like, oh, I'll just be online five more minutes, and then you wake up, and instead of it being midnight, it's now four o'clock in the morning. And, 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 and it's the same, up, like, it's the the same with uh, watching a show. Right. You'll be like, wait, wait, I'm just going to watch this real episode. quick, real quick, and I got to leave. Knowing that you could pause it or watch it from, right. from there, but you got to know. You got to know what's going on. Everything. It's not always just the web. I think that has more to deal with a person's ability to say, enough's enough or mm-hmm. to keep to a schedule because i know i have days where like i want to go like i have to go to work right i gotta leave by a certain time meanwhile while i'm getting ready i have on like recently an episode of stargate yeah and like i'm so easily able to be like no my alarm just went off i gotta get to the train station like i press the pause button and i'm out right but like if i don't have to go to work and i'm like oh maybe i want to run to the store or something mm-hmm. i'll normally find myself finishing the episode, episode, even though, like, I know the store might close at 3, the way that I want, but I'll be like, I'll probably find something else that's open till 4 type shit, and finish the episode, mm-hmm. and then I'll go hunting for whatever, you know, I'm, that sort of thing, so I think it, it really depends on, one, the situation, but also your yeah. uh, level of discipline. Right. Hmm. I like the word. Um, this is kind of stupid, but when you're offline, like, do you Think about being back online. When you're what? Yeah. When you're flying? Not when you're off. Like when you're offline, like do you really? When I'm offline, when I'm flying, I'm online. No, too. offline. When you're oh, offline, off, like offline. Yeah, like how? Like do you do you, find do you yourself like wanting to like, get back online? Not really, because once all my work is done online, that I don't have to do no more. The only time I go back on mostly is to study. Like if I'm trying to. Uh, and, or be nosy to the other um, competition type of things, you know? Yeah. See what they, what, 
what's going on and to always stay a step ahead. Um, do you ever zone out when you're online or like I don't want nobody to fuck with me while I'm on here? Like you get like real mad. If you're nah, online, I'm mostly somebody. like that when I'm watching TV. You watch all, TV, yeah. not online. No, no, if I'm watching a show or something, not yeah. if I'm just online, yeah. You like being bothered, period. Like, fuck being online. Like, just. Yeah, just, period. Don't uh, bother me. I would definitely say I, I think about getting back online. Mostly because, like I said, in this particular case, it would be the gaming thing, right? I mean, before that, not really. There, there are times where, like, you're at work bored and you know like you can't be on your phone and you're like damn I wish I was playing my game you know? yeah in that sense but that's yeah. not always an online thing like I play a lot of offline games so I can play them while I'm on the train and shit it's just more so like I'd rather be doing anything other than this and more than likely whatever it is I'd rather be doing is on my phone at the same time like mm-hmm. you know there are times where that happens and I'm like I wish I was hanging out with my friends right now or like you know when, when like let's say Any, anything but here, <laughs> right? Right, right, exactly. It's one of those things. Man, if only I could be in Jamaica, or you know, I think <laughs> I think that's what it is. Is when something in the moment sucks, you're just looking for something else to take you out of that out. sucky moment. Unless it's and then mostly literal mostly moment. is internet. And yeah, and, and these you know that's what it is too. These days everything's re- uh, internet. Like you were saying, oh, I didn't know if you meant. Um, uh, YouTube as a website because it's an app, right? In the in the previous episode, well, that's the kind of the concept behind it, is that almost every app has a full on website. It is a website, so every app is part of the web. They call it like the desktop version, or right? Whatever. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. so I mean, even when you're thinking about using an app, you're really thinking about being online. You know? So it's kind of hard to avoid most Mostly, forms of yeah. media entertainment. And not have it be in some association with the internet these days. Yeah, even yeah. even the uh, the apps that you watch shows on. It's like they're trying much to get off the internet. Netflix. Like Netflix. they're trying to get rid of Hulu.com. Apple TV. I think is what it is. Yeah, I think they're trying to get rid of cable. Like cable. Well, yeah, it is. Well, that, as, that, as that was actually something I was, was going to ask you before, but we ran out of time. Is yeah. that do you think um, the internet has made cable useless? And the only reason why I would say no is that. Cable sites yeah. are adapting to app culture. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, some of them are even forming conglomerates. Like, Paramount absorbed, like, Nick and CBS or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, VH1 is a part of uh, some other nonsense. Disney, you know, has a deal with Hulu and ESPN. Uh. You know, very, VRV is Crunchyroll plus a whole bunch of other geek yep. things. So, like, everybody's figuring out that you, it's not necessarily changing from cable in the usual sense, right? You can still pay for Showtime-only content for $5 as opposed to the $10 on your cable thing directly, right? But at the same time, it's still the same content. So cable isn't what's outdone. It's more so really TV as in the box itself. Most people are buying smart TVs, which come with apps directly on yep. them. So you, you, don't need you can go straight to ABC. That's, but that, that's cable it. network. You can go ABC. And the only thing is that yeah, no, right. what makes cable networks, I mean, cable providers even relevant still is that if you don't want to, if you're not someone who takes your media with you on the go, it makes us so that mm. way you can get all your media mm-hmm. for one low price rather than pay $10 a piece for every little thing that adds up to being more than your cable provider. And you know who the, the thing about it is? The, the cable providers now, you know who a lot of them are paying, right? Or, or who, who owns a lot of that shit is Apple. Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. damn it, everything you get now comes with Apple TV. Yeah. So, like, our Spectrum TV or Spectrum Network yeah. came with Apple TV. Like, so I have an Apple TV box, and then it's nothing. Yeah, but they, they, they came pretty much, with Spectrum. Right. They pretty much dying because, so you know, they had the like, phone. Like, the provider are going to probably still provide phone Phones and, and all internet that. service, right? But, like, at the end of the day, the, the trying to provide cable is going to be useless. As long but as they're providing. The, the phone is die, die too, you know? That, like, another thing, people yeah. got the triple threat package, but then they got cell phones. So, like, yeah. people were like, I don't even use my home phone. A lot phone. of people don't have landline anymore. Yeah, they have it. They just don't use it because it, it comes with the package. It comes with the package. You get, you get a deal without yeah. it. So some people will take the deal without it so that way no one has to install shit yeah. in their home. No, but some of the deals, like, I got it because it was 
cheaper if I would have got the three package and the two. Yeah, no, I mean, you know what I'm saying. But I don't even know my damn number. Over. I don't even have nothing hooked up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. We and now we don't have cable at all, just the internet. We got the internet and a whole bunch of streaming services. Yeah, and that's what that, I'm saying. That's what and, we and have. With See, and my thing like, Apple's smart than a motherfucker. They just they got everything within that. Just like Amazon. Everything can attach to it. So yeah, yeah. like it's, it's it's crazy. See, I like having a cable service provider because if I I and I had to do the math one day to for it to really make sense to me because at one point I thought I shouldn't have right. it. But with the number of Apps that I can access with my login from my cable provider. Right. I'm not giving no free shit to them because they don't give me enough. Uh, they don't make my, my bill too low. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it actually is less for me to have cable provider and able to use my TV login. Right. Any of these various things than if I were to buy their individual or even their conglomerate um, subscriptions. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'll have my uh, Disney Plus triple play. Right. Right. The regular um, stuff. Right. Not yet. And then I'll have my Netflix. Mm-hmm. I got Amazon Prime for shipping, and it came with the yep. TV, TV. You know what I'm that. saying? Um, but my Apple TV, my mom got that, right? With cable service? No, she just got that on her oh. own. No. Right? And that came with a whole bunch of things with it that when we had our cable provider, a lot of those networks, instead of having to buy them off of Apple, because Apple has, you know, you have to okay. pay for certain premium the networks. Apple Plus right? TV now. Um. I just log in with my TV provider, and I get a whole bunch more access than other people. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I want to download the Showtime Only app, right, I log in with my TV provider. Boom, stars, you know, HBO, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got all of that. And like when you. I got my, my cable package, we got a deal that all of that came with it for, like, an extra $15 a month. So now I got six premium networks, which can go for $10 a mm-hmm. pop for 15 bucks. You know what I'm saying? And now I have access to all of their sites and anything affiliated with them just for having the rest of my cable service. Yeah, because that's why, like, the cable in the uh, studio, cut it off. The cable in my house, cut it off. The cable in my grandmother's, I left it on because that's what I use. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when they say, ABC, or oh, you need a provider, I got one. Bing, bing. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we got one provider and we for three places. Especially when you have, like, what, what really blows mine is when you have the um like abc network now trying to be like you need a subscription to watch. yeah bitch you are basic cable. cable yeah yeah you this is like the one thing i'm supposed to pay like 20 dollars for and i get 30 networks. but see i think that was a uh combined thing for the uh cable providers tell them hey tell them to get a provider or they gotta pay you know <laughs> what i'm saying so maybe it helps them i don't Fuck it helps, but it means I need to smack somebody across the yeah, face. Yeah, because that's like, the only reason why I kept a provider. stupid do you for, think I am? For like ABC, NBC, all these ones that the you need a provider. Yeah. So kept one provider and just have uh, two other places with it. That's it. Shit is annoying. Beyond yeah. that, you should fuck up and play. Damn right. <laughs> They're rude. Rude-ass networks. <laughs> <laughs> giving out shit free. Have you ever lost track of time browsing the internet? That's all the time. I mean... Yeah, there there are definitely times where like, but again, I don't blame the media because you know the me so social media, the internet, that's the medium being used. Yeah. What makes me stay up or waste the time or however you want to view it mm-hmm. is the person that I'm talking to, right? Like I remember being in high school and you all, you know you talk to a girl on AIM and it's eight o'clock and then all of a sudden the conversation goes left and y'all arguing. Next thing you know, it's two o'clock in the fucking morning. You like, damn, bitch, had me up this late. But anybody can talk about that with any of their exes, you know, on the phone. You know, it's the medium that's being used, but the the issue is nothing to do but with the person. It was just uh, like you said, the, yeah, meaning, the way you're communicating with stuff can make it worse. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you like the conversation being on the internet could be part of the problem. Was like, you know, tone is lost. Exactly. You know, but at the same time, you know damn well you could have said anything to the fucking person and they just get triggered. Yeah. Yeah, they they was waiting for it almost. Yeah, you know. And I don't even be on social media like that, just to post up stuff, but not to really, like, search stuff. I search, like, the first ten people. Like, I'll go down a thing and then that's it. I'm like, ah. You know, especially when it seems like it's the same Same thing. Like, yeah. yeah, you just said the same thing this guy said. So I'm like, ah. But I'm mostly on it, like, like I said, trying to study. Like I'm now I'm trying to study some new codes and stuff like that. So 
try to keep yourself busy on the internet, but not on social media. You know? It makes sense to me. Social media, I mean... The biggest issue with social media is the lack of, like, user knowledge. And what I mean by that is, like... The fact that cyberbullying is a thing makes no sense to me because every yeah. website comes with a block button. Yeah. Oh, these kids are being mean. So you block, block them. them, you fucking then, idiot. Then, then block. What, what really bothers me is when this is like, but if I block everyone, then it means I have no friends. I'm like, well, guess what, Timmy? If you're crying about it, you ain't have friends in the first place. So shut the fuck up and block them. Mm, exactly. It's called life, Timmy. Like, mm-hmm. Timmy don't know. That's why. Timmy needs a good knock upside his goddamn head. Yeah, because it like... Leads you to watch shit just to, just to make yourself angry. That that's really bad. When it's like motherfuckers like like search the internet to find something to make them angry. Angry, yo, for real though. But it's bad when you don't know someone and they making you enough that you want to try to kill yourself. Like what? I don't even know it's, this person. I don't even, care what the heck you tell you about me. Delete, well, block. I mean, even when it is people you know? that you know, right? Because like a lot of these, a lot of the kids who get bullied are getting bullied by the kids at school, right? Right. <laughs> I mean, it, it just is what it is, and it's unfortunate. But these guys aren't your friends at – these guys aren't going to be your friends online. You would do better blocking all of them and making friends in the different communities that are online. And I, I don't mean this in, like, the old school chat way where that's how you get involved to catch a predator. But I mean, like, there are so many more legitimate websites now for people who are interested in anime and manga. There are so mm-hmm. many more sites for people who are interested in the world of science. Where they have, like, you know, the, the research portion or, like, the, you know, the, the bio, the data portion or whatever the case may be. Where, like, you can go, you can do your research, your activities and whatever. And then, of course, the chat part of it, right? Mm-hmm. So you could be there and find someone of whatever common interest or whatever, your own whatever. You can end up in Google Deep Dives and find people or conventions and stuff and meet people at those conventions. Like, you have so many different opportunities and resources now where... If let's say you go to school with sixty people and you the motherfucker who's the outcast, well, you no longer have to feel alone because there's probably another person at a school full of sixty people who feels just like you two towns over. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and that, that's that's why uh, to meet these people. Facebook had the commercial about all these different groups. The guy was had uh, polka dots and then he was like group uh, polka dot group. They trying to tell you stop worrying about it. You got a group or someone that's just for you. Go exactly. go find a, a page of people that were getting bullied. Like, now, you got something, now you got something in common. And you hon- know what I'm saying? Honestly, there are so many support groups now, especially with the way this generation of human is, that, like, there's no <laughs> excuse. Yeah. They got one for cry. For you to, exactly. Cry babies of today. You can probably find something there like no, that. No, but for real, <laughs> for real, though. Like, you can literally look up bullying on Facebook so you got and em- find so many different pages where... Besides just the groups on Facebook, you can find pages that would actually have, you know, helpful resources mm-hmm. on how to handle the situation. Or so this way you can, you can talk to someone, maybe a therapist or um, either others who have experienced it personal, to help you get through it. Like, there's literally no reason to be alone anymore. Yep. And I, you can say that for a lot of different social media sites. Yeah, like, anything. Quick anything. Search, you know... Whether you Google, Yahoo, Bing, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, you'll find someone or something somewhere that can help you. And the, the, the key words are hashtags. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you hashtag anything and you get the group of people that's been hashtagging those things. Pretty much. It's, it's not rocket science. It really, you just have to take an extra minute out of your day to do that. Before you push the I quit button and kill yourself, just... Do a Google search. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds fucked up to say, but it's true. It's the truth, yeah. Like, cyberbullying should not be a thing. No, it just it shouldn't. shouldn't. It, ju- it shouldn't exist. It shouldn't. Yeah, because you're good. He's Block. mean to me, Block. Block. I, I remember... Don't, I don't point. fucking point it out and tell everybody. Yeah, he posted I, this. That's, that's he just posted like, this as me. Look, I don't care. I, I'm one of those. You post up something. I'm like, damn, you caught the bad stitches side. Get stitches, man. <laughs> you know, you can turn it around on somebody. Oh, they posted that up. I would have been like... Why you post up the bad side? You should have post up the right side of me. That's the good side of me. You know what I'm saying? I would have said something stupid where they were like, wow, he's not even being bothered by it. Yeah, like and then they will stop. And then you delete and block. Hopefully. That's it. Then they, then they do another uh, page. Friend requests you again. And you just don't accept every single person that friend requests you. Goodness gracious, you know? Yo, for real, though. I mean, that's the other thing, too. If you're not the most liked person and you're afraid of everyone else's criticism... 
and opinion, then you just need to make your page private. And not everybody has access to the yeah. you post. Because, like, if that's the other thing, if you want to be able to post freely without being, um, you know, criticized, private page. Every person that's on that page, is, now you're letting them in. in. Yep. That it should be people you feel support you. Even if they don't agree with you, won't chastise you, that sort of thing. You have complete control of your social media. Like, I hate when I hear people bitching about someone talking negative on my page and I feel so down. And, bro, block them. Block them. Mm-hmm. Delete yeah. them. Hell, if you really want to be savage, the smart motherfuckers, most of them, the petty ass females, all they screenshot the issue. And then they the put you on blast. Up, and put, yeah, everybody's now on them. Yo, you say one negative thing about Beyonce, what the fuck happens to your social media? Woo. Right? So. You can develop an audience, and especially in this era full of sympathetic tips, like you could have any issue of any sort. You can take someone's words, twist them even, even if you're completely in the wrong. And I'm, I'm going to say this because people are doing it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then t- twist someone's word, add a sad, like, Billie Eilish song to your shit, and then be like, people are so cruel. And, you know, copy and paste the parts of the conversation that suit you. Build a social media following. They're going to build the copy and paste the shit that suits them. And y'all going to have this rivalry that makes you both famous. Now you're both internet famous. You're making money yeah. off of sponsors. And everybody fucking wins. And all that you could have done is either block them or do this. But there's no reason to off yourself. Mm. Nope. Damn. Which is true. All right. Next question. How often has uh, internet use prevent you from getting the amount of sleep you need, sir? Z- all the time. Daily. Every goddamn day. Every day. Every day? Every goddamn day. And the uh, last question is... I was is, never going to grow anyway. <laughs> you need help. Ne- never mind. La- last question. Have you tried and failed to reduce the amount of time you spend on the internet and social media? I've never tried. I give two fucks. Me mm-hmm. neither. I mean, I... I, I do, but I don't want to try. Like, it's a, it's we like have Sundays. Forced upon me. It like... I, like, we have weekends and uh, Saturday, Sunday. Like, uh, as soon as I get home, we watch, like, a movie. There's no internet day, you know, t- internet time, which I don't hardly worry wait, about. Wait, 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 wait. How are you watching this movie? No. Well, on the app. Exactly. Yeah. See? Ooh. But no social media type of thing, you know? Yeah. It's, like, it's, I can easily say I can go, I can do without social media. I've done yeah, that before. That, it's just that like, I you know could. what? Except I didn't feel the need to post about it. Yeah. I just didn't use <laughs> Oh my god, I look hate at, that. Yeah, when people do they come back with it, like yo, I, 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 I I'm, you know what? I'm gonna get off. Of, I'm gonna be off of, uh, social huh? media. How minimal has my Instagram use been the last two months? Ooh, two months, right? Ooh. People are like, yo, this nigga posts daily. I'm like, you know what? I just wanted to take a break. Yeah, that's all I did, and I posted. But you don't have to be post. like, I'm gonna take a break from putting posts. Like some people will be like, oh, I'm gonna take a break from the media. So if you want to find me, um, you know where to look. No, we don't because we don't know your ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't know you on Facebook. Because this nigga send me a message every day, bitches. Yeah, like, like, come on. That's it. You need a cuddle? Yeah, you, you need a hug. If you want to, I'll kill you before you get the basic training. <laughs> hey. Come on. Charles! Give me a hug. Give Charles. me a hug. Get, Nobody's looking. Uh, come get on. The, uh, get the they holding hands. Get the and applesauce. <laughs> get the fuck away from me, nigga. That's what my wife says to me. Like, I want to cuddle. Like, you want to cuddle? cuddle? Oh, he said that to me this morning. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> let's go back to sleep. Let's cuddle. I'm like, baby, I got to go. I have to go a little earlier this morning. See, I don't. Uh, he, he may threaten with aggression, but I threaten with love. Yeah. That's scarier right there. Love overpowers. If you don't know that, if you, like, like the last thing before I go, if you, oh, before we go, if you don't know that, that love is a lot more scarier than aggression, from a short person, from a short person, that something's wrong with you. Prison rules. Prison, Prison rules. rules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love you tonight. See, ain't that shit scary in prison? Yeah. When it, especially Yo, <laughs> saying I love you in prison, no, okay? No, no. But that, when it comes to a big person in prison, that's scary. Yeah. When it comes to a little person, you'll be like, yeah, I love you too. You know what I'm saying? Like, Unless it's in Thailand. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's something different. No, because I'm going to tell you about somebody else. I, I always got something for something. Anyway, this has been another episode of XY 101 Calvin's Corner. And we out this bitch.